You probably could have just poured. Hi, it's Tuesday, and you're watching Tasty Tuesday Show. Where it's Tuesday, I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Okay, that's all you need to know about this. I like to try to make food and see if it's tasty. And sometimes it works out for us. Couple things. I got a new camera lens. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. You can see everything in this kitchen. Everything. You could see everything. You could see everything. I'm so sorry. I don't know what kind of mood this is. This kind of mood, probably. Number two, last week I asked you guys if you would like to see a month full of drink recipes instead of food recipes, and you said no. So, <laughs> message received. You said, although you like seeing drink recipes, you don't like them to take the place of food recipes. Understandable. So I thought, in the spirit of Oktoberfest and drinks and all that stuff, we'd find a food that has alcohol in it. Hey, best of both worlds, slap it high. So I found a recipe for pretzels with vegan beer cheese. Is it real cheese? No. Might it possibly taste cheese-like? Hopefully, that's what we're going for. And is it tasty? I don't know. That's what we're gonna find out. One thing that I've learned from doing plant-based recipes recently on Tasty Tuesday is that people get really butthurt if you call something cheese that doesn't have dairy in it. And I don't know why that is. It is not a personal attack. It is just that there's no other name for it. Cheese alternative sauce? Alt cheese left sauce? Why don't we call it cheese with a Z and then you know that it's not Dairy cheese, it's it's an alternative cheese. Would that make your feelings be better? So we're making pretzels with beer cheese sauce. I actually didn't know that you could make pretzels like as a person, like a normal person that's not a bakery. We'll see if it's tasty. Let's make this dish. Okay, we're gonna start by making our pretzel dough because we're professionals. Put this stuff into a bowl. We're gonna do one cup of warm water, one tablespoon of sugar, and two teaspoons of active dry yeast. How many teaspoons are you? We're gonna measure. Damn it! Life's rough, man. Two teaspoons. Alright, this packet's about two teaspoons. You probably could have just poured. Never mind. There's more left of you in there. Okay. There's live active yeast on my floor. What if that made the floor rise? I don't know. We're gonna allow this mixture to stand for five to ten minutes or until the yeast gets foamy. Mmm. Alright, it's been five to ten minutes. Our yeast is pretty foamy. Mm. We're gonna add to this two and a half cups of all-purpose flour and one and a half teaspoons of salt. Then mix it up, you guessed it. If you have a food processor, that would help you. I don't have one big enough to hold all this. Well, I'm doing it the old-fashioned way because I'm a professional pretzel maker. Okay, it smells like a pretzel. Good sign, you. Now it's just to turn out into an oiled up bowl and let it rise for an hour. Oh, wow, that was anticlimactic. I really thought we were gonna have pretzels like now, but you are not a pretzel, you need an hour. Whatever. Oil. Did it. Well, get, get out of the bowl. Fly. Avatar just for ordeal. I don't know if we're supposed to cover this. Am I supposed to cover you? It doesn't say. Oh, tell me what to do, please. Okay, it doesn't say to cover this, but I feel like I'm gonna cover it. Don't worry, pretzel. I got you covered. I don't know if this is right or not. We shouldn't joke. I don't know. Please be with me. I need you. Okay. Pray for me. See you in an hour. And we're back. It's been an hour now. I took a nap. Hi, how are you? A pretzel dough has grown. Oh, good job, pretzel dough. You're a big boy. While our pretzel dough was being a diva, I soaked these cashews in boiling water. We'll need that later. Okay, first we're gonna cut our dough into four pieces. I'm gonna take my ring off because you guys always yell at me when I work with dough and have a ring on. I'm scared of you. Please like me. Maybe that plastic was the right thing to do. I lightly floured a cutting board to work on. I hope that's a right choice. So we're gonna cut this dough into four pieces. Please cut, please. Using your hands, you're gonna roll each piece into a snake-like shape. Mm -hmm. It's about one inch thick. Don't think about that. This is very snake-like, okay? Yep, it's a snake. I'm better at this sort of thing, I swear. Stop, you're a child. Oh yeah, maybe I should have rolled it out on the, okay, we got this. This is my first time pretzeling, okay? Now, on our lightly floured surface, we're gonna cut our snake into bite-sized pieces. You got that? It says you can use a dough cutter for this. I don't know what that is, so I'm using a knife. While we're working, we're gonna keep our bite-sized pieces in this bowl covered under plastic, but lightly flour them so they don't get sticky. Good. 
everybody's good. Okay, now we're just gonna do the same thing with the other four pieces. Okay, now that our pretzels are cut into bite-sized pieces, they need to stay under the plastic for another 20 to 30 minutes to get puffy. How long do you take to rise, pretzel dough? You ain't Jesus. 20 to 30 minutes, all right. While that is happening, we're gonna boil some water. Yeah! <laughs> Did someone say party? Get yourself a big pretty pot like this one, and we're gonna boil eight cups of water in it. All right, well my measuring cup is busy. The longest way to boil eight cups of water. I have it. Guess what? We've learned on Tasty Tuesday that if you cover things, they boil faster. We're also gonna take this time to preheat our oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Do it. And then, we are going to line our baking sheet with parchment paper. Okay, well now I guess we just wait for this water to boil. Cool. I'm helping. Okay, now that our water is boiling, we're gonna add a fourth a cup of baking soda and a tablespoon of molasses. Oh my god, I've never worked with molasses before. This is a first. You got a molasses. I'm not gonna lie, while I was waiting for this water to boil, I pretty much just stared at this pretzel dough and ate ice cream. It's a fucked up time of the month for me. Baking soda, I got baking soda. I said I wasn't gonna do that today. Oh, Jiminy. I feel like a scientist. Pretzel makers are scientists. That looks like a volcano science project. Oh my God, I did not go to college. Ew, this smells, ew. Molasses does not smell good. Also, if you don't have molasses, you can use brown sugar, it says. Ooh. Sorry, I'm judging you. I'm really judging you. I apologize. They have a grandma as their logo. Way to typecast your demographic molasses. I hope old grandmas go into the store and go, oh, I relate to this. And that's how they make their purchases. Using a slotted spoon. Oh my God. Using a slotted spoon, we're going to take each pretzel bite and drop it in there. What the fuck do we, what the fuck? What the absolute Fuck, I'm so sorry for cursing, please like me. Drop the dough bites in a few at a time and scoop out onto the parchment lined baking sheet once they float to the top of the water, about a minute. All right. This sounds like a prank. Like if someone told me this is how you cook pretzels, I'd be like, nah, bro. Cool prank, bro. Were we supposed to stir this? These instructions are not very clear. A few at a time. Don't stick together, you asshole dickheads. I'm not supposed to float to the top yet. What the? F what are you doing? Amateurs. All of you are amateurs. I'm supposed to scoop them out when they float to the top, but they never weren't on the top. They just are floating there. They never went to the bottom. Go to the bottom, damn it. I've had about enough. Okay, so these assholes never went to the bottom, but they're floating on the top, so we're taking them out with our slotted spoon. Exciting. I'm putting it on the parchment paper. I'm not a mean person. Don't make me be mean. Pretzel making is very stressful and intense. More like stretzel. <laughs> weird time of the month for me. These didn't even get that puffy in here. These are not bite size anymore. Unless you have a huge mouth. If you're Gilbert Godfrey, these are bite size. This is exciting. So exciting that I'm gonna wait till this process is over to come back to you. Okay, sorry you had to miss out on the rest of that really exciting process. But our pretzel bites are now all um, molasses. We're gonna put them in the oven for 13 to 15 minutes or until they are golden. Oh, it's hot. While that's happening, we're gonna start on our beer cheese. Cheese with a Z. Wait, wait, take your, take your pretzel bites out. No, sorry, that was bad. Okay, we're gonna spray our pretzel bites with vegetable spray or I have coconut oil spray, cause I'm fancy. Yeah, get them all sprayed, spray those bad boys down. And then you're gonna need coarse salt. You can find pretzel salt somewhere, not at my grocery store, but somewhere it's out there. Just make sure it's coarse salt or else it'll disappear in the oven. So sprinkle with Coarse salt. Oh my god, I can't believe we almost had unsalted pretzels. Yeah, I would have been the one salty. Okay, we need salt for our snacks to be delicious. Oh boy, that was a close one. Okay, thank you. Now get started on the beer cheese. Take a blender or a bullet blender, whatever, and put these ingredients in there. Half a cup of soaked and drained cashews. One tablespoon lemon juice, or about half a lemon. Two teaspoons apple cider vinegar. One cup almond milk. Half teaspoon salt. One tablespoon, 
one tablespoon tapioca flour, one car alarm that won't shut up. I know this is a weird ingredient, but if you make all the dishes on Tasty Tuesday, you would have all these ingredients in your cupboard. I seriously only had to buy molasses today. It was pretty rad. Do it. Two tablespoons nutritional yeast, my favorite. Half a teaspoon red pepper flakes. Two cloves of garlic, roughly chopped. You look rough. And about an eighth a teaspoon black pepper. I'm just gonna twist it a couple times. And we're just gonna blend that up till smooth. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna take this concoction and put it over medium high heat in a saucepan. We want this to be warm and delicious. Okay, so let's just stir this constantly until thickened. Cheese will get curdled, this is okay. That's what this says, not me. I don't know if anything's okay. I'm constantly doubting that things are okay. Oh my God, everything needs attention all at the same time. Oh, oh no, our pretzels are, okay, they're good. Oh, they looked burnt for a second. They are not, they are golden. Oh my God, so good. Everyone's happy. Cheese, you are stressing me out. Okay, our cheese is significantly thicker. So we're gonna take our beer, like a half a cup of beer, or maybe even more. I don't know. You do you. And add it a little bit at a time. Whisking, adding, whisking, and adding. Ooh, okay, that is a smell. That is quite a smell. I'm using this Sam Adams Oktoberfest beer, because I thought it was appropriate. But use whatever you want. Just don't use a light beer. I don't think the sauce would be good as a light beer. It's getting better. Look at that bee cam. More beer. When in doubt, more beer. Okay. I think this is right. I think this is the right consistency. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off the heat. Maybe just a little bit more beer. Beer with me now. <laughs> that joke was cheesy. Kill me. I just want this to be very beer-like. More beer-like than cheese-like. Cheese with a Z, so we don't get our feelings hurt. I think it's good. Oh, I'm so excited. This was quite a process. I have mad respect for pretzel makers. I did not know your journey was so stressful. Okay, let's make it presentational and pretty. Yeah! Yeah! All right, calm down. Yes, these look so good. I'm so impressed by myself. I really had the worst expectations. Not gonna lie, I'm not gonna even sugarcoat it. But I will salt coat it. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Oh my goodness. These look good. Do you know one time somebody told a pretzel to not get it twisted? And that's how pretzel bites were born. <laughs> Let's see if these are tasty. All right, honey. Yo. These are pretzel bites and beer cheese. Cheese with a Z. Dang, dude. Are they good? Yeah, that's really good. Do they taste like pretzels? Yeah, they taste exactly like pretzels, Fuck of course. yeah. It's the cheese part that doesn't quite taste like cheese. No? But well, have you it's ever, a good sauce. It have you ever had sauce. beer cheese? Yes, of course, yeah. Did you think that tasted like cheese? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you did, yeah, okay. Right. Do not expect this to taste like cheese. However, it's tasty, okay? Holy shit, that is such a good sauce. It doesn't taste like cheese. It tastes like, it, it tastes, tastes more like, like beer, but it tastes like really good. Whatever it was got overwhelmed by the beer, but it, in a good way. Yeah, no, this is bomb. Yeah, it's really good. I can't wait to put this camera down anymore, but. This is tasty. So the theme of this month has not been drinks, but it has been things that you can bring to watch football with. We did dips, we did booze, and now appetizers. All right, so subscribe so you don't miss any of this, and please like me. I like you. I like beer and pretzels. Why is this a common theme with wedding dress ads that women are like running through a city or uh, about to jump off a building?